Okay, so I have my Samsung Galaxy S5 here and I'm going to show you how to increase the speed as well as increase the battery life. Now first and foremost thing that we want to do is we want to disable or uninstall any apps that we don't use on here. Now regarding bloatware, we're not going to be able to uninstall them, but we can disable them. Bloatware is basically apps that come pre-installed onto your phone. Now you can uninstall if your phone is rooted. However, this is a non-rooted phone and I'm going to show you the first way to go in here, basically you go into settings here and if you want to change this to grid view, let me change this to grid view, Let's to change it to the default way, uh, view by grid mode. Now let me just show you this now, okay, now if you scroll all the way down and we go to application manager and see the thing is on this phone, I enabled everything by default and I can already see that the phone is definitely lagging. So let's go down to like swipe all the way down to where you see all. Now the thing is like going in this direction it's a little bit um, not as efficient going another way like for instance like let's say here let me go ahead and uh, uninstall something. I'll click on here and I'll click on uninstall uninstall and then you have to sit here and you have to wait for it to actually uninstall. And then you have to keep doing this with all of your uh, with all your apps. Let me show you an easier way to go into this. What you simply do is you hit on the apps key right there and you see the three dots top right hand corner. Click on that and go to uninstall and disable apps. Now here's another thing too. Um, if you guys are having issues like uh, uninstalling a lot of these programs that you don't use or use very rarely, it might benefit any other programs out there. Like for instance, I had an issue where my galley would take forever to open up when I delete it or uninstall some of the programs or disabled, it, my gallery sort of open up right away. Another thing is my shutter on my camera. When I would take a picture, it would take a few seconds for it to actually take the picture. And then once I installed uh, a couple of the apps, I think the app that I installed was GoLight. Once I installed that, my camera is back to normal. And as soon as I take, I take a snap, it snaps right away. Anyway, so for instance, now, when I did this, you can see like a bunch of the minus marks on here. So for instance, Let's say I wanted to um, uninstall something here, uh, for example, this one here. Just click right here and uninstall. Gone. You don't have to sit there and like wait for it. Now, if you have bloatware on here, I mean, for instance, uh, let me see here. Okay, here's something. Here's that S Health. Come on, who actually uses this? So I'm going to click on this, and it says uh, S Health. And all related features will be disabled. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and disable it. And there you go. So that's pretty much for bloatware. And like I said, any other any programs that you're not really using, just get rid of it. Okay, so the next thing we want to get rid of, we want to get rid of this uh, bubble pattern lock here. For instance, when you lock your phone, and we put it back up, just like swipe here. That actually slows down your phone as well. So why don't we go ahead and do this? Okay, so we'll get rid of this, we'll swipe it, and we'll go into the settings again. And then we're going to scroll down until we see sounds and display, and we're going to go to lock screen. And then we're going to scroll down, and we're going to see unlock effect, popping colors. We're going to click on that. And you don't need to pop in colors, so when I click on none, then I go back, and actually this saves a few milliseconds when you're back in here. And this also conserves a little bit more battery as well. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to get rid of the transition effects. Now how you do that is you simply hold somewhere down your phone, and then this will pop up, and then you'll get this menu down here. Click on Home Screen Settings, and then we're going to click on Transition Effect, and we're going to click it from 3D Rotation to None. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to disable three of the animation effects. And how we do that is we swipe down, we go back into settings, and we're going to scroll all the way down. And first thing you need to do is you need to go right here where it says About Device. And actually what we're going to do is we want to click on Developer Options, but you're not going to have that until you enable it. So click on About Devices, and then we're going to go down to where it says bill number, this right here, and you have to click this seven times, and it'll be like a little message here telling you, so you click it seven times, then you simply click the back button, 
click the back button, and then you have this option here, developer options, click on that. And then from here, what we're going to do, you want to scroll down, and here we go. And we can see Windows Animation Scale, Transition Animation Scale. These three right here, what we want to do is we want to click on it. And you can set it to 0.5x, but I typically shut it off. And I'm telling you, like right now to do this video, I change everything back to the default, and there's like a big lag on my phone right now, so just take note of that. Then go down to Transition, do the same thing, I'm going to click on Off. And in this one as well, I'm going to click on Off. Okay. So the next thing we do is we're going to disable S-Voice, okay? And what exactly is S-Voice? It's basically like Google Now, but you have the option to use S-Voice or Google Now. It's like Siri on the iPhone. Uh, majority of the people prefer Google Now over S-Voice. So for instance, if I click on here twice, S-Voice pops up, okay? Now what this is doing, it's slowing down your home button. So for example, watch, I'm going to click on Apps. You can see how fast it is. Look, boom. And then you click on home. There's a huge pause. Watch. Boom. Pause. Boom. Pause. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping that you can definitely see a difference. See, when I click that home button, it takes a lot longer. Watch. Apps is right away. Ready? Apps. Home. You can definitely see that delay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to double click. We're going to go into S Voice here. Now the thing is, if, um, if this is the first time you're getting the S Voice, you're going to have to go through the prompts to actually activate the app. So just click on Next and agree to it, and this will pop up. Then you t simply type on, uh, tap on the top right-hand corner, the three dots, and we'll go down to Settings. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down. Okay, open via Home Key. Now we're going to uncheck that. Okay, now, now, now take a look at this, okay? So remember I clicked on Apps. Boom. Now watch this. Boom. 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 Pretty cool. And now if you want to use Google Voice instead, what you can simply do is just hold down the home key or the home button. Okay, Google. What is today's forecast? Here's the forecast for Wan Chai District. And I'm in Wan Chai, Hong Kong, Wan Chai District. Now let's, let's try something else. Let's do... Um, Okay, Google, set my alarm clock to 8.30 a.m. And then you'll see the clock Setting icon. Alarm. You'll see it pop up here. There it is. There's the clock icon. And then what I always do, just to double check, I always go into my clock setting just to make sure that it's set the time accurately. And you can see it's on uh, 8.30 a.m. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is unsync a lot of the things you have in your Gmail that'll save processing power as well as battery life. So what you want to do is you want to go back into your settings. And we're going to go to where it says user backup. You want to click on accounts. And then we're going to click on Google here, Gmail. You want to click on that. Okay, now by default, like let me show you for example, I have a lot of email addresses in here. Click on the email address. By default, you're going to have all these checked. And what you want to do is what you're not using, get rid of it. Like the sync app data, the calendar I'm not using for this email. Sync drive, I don't want that. Of course, I want to sync my Gmail. I don't need play newsstand. I don't need to sync people's details. And also there may be an option for you where it has a link uh, to Picasso albums. You can uncheck that as well if you're not using that. So this is pretty much like all I need here. Now last but not least, we want to be able to clean our junk files and our junk cache. And what you can do is you can download a program called Clean Master. And I'll show you how this works here. Okay, from here what we can do is you want to basically go to frequency, but the default is set to three days. Let me click on here, three days. What you want to do, you really want to do it every day, okay? And then also, let me see down here, uh, some things you don't need. I mean, come on, fun extras. Come on, you don't need that. 
send anonymous to usage statistics. Come on, you don't need that either. So now what I'm going to do is go back out of here. Actually, to get into the settings too, what you have to do is click on the three dots and you go down to settings. And then this, it'll bring you to this page. And this is, this is where you set the frequency right here and you can uncheck the two bottom things down here. And what basically this does, for example, like junk files here, let me just click on junk files. And this will clean the cache and the and junk files and the junk cache. Let this like run up. And if you have your own frequency on one day, it'll automatically run every day.